Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to go over another endgame where the pawn is on the 7th rank. But today it's not the rook in front of the pawn, but it's the king. And this changes a lot of things. As you know, if the rook was on a8, then we should keep our king on these two safe squares. But now since the king is on this a8 square, we should keep our king the close as possible to this um, pawn here. And you're going to see the uh, reason for this in just a second. What does black want to do here? How can black draw the game? White would basically like to move his king and then promote to a queen. Because now this king is kinda in a way for this pawn, right? So we have to cut him off. Yes, we have to put our rook on the b-file. So this king can't move out of this file. Now, as you can probably see, the only way for white to win the game is to bring his rook to this uh, b8 square and then move, just move his rook to the b7 square and move his king there. So he uses his rook to protect the king to move to this b8 square so then he can promote to a queen. But it's not that simple for white here. He can't play for example rook here because that's a free rook and if he plays something like rook to c2 then we're going to play king to d7, just closer to this pawn, which is of course our goal, and closer to this king. So when we play, or for example, if he plays this, when we play this move, uh, this king absolutely can't move out of there. So this is our goal basically here. And okay, I mean, he can check us on the next move, but we just move back. It's not a problem because we have a rook on this b file and he can't do anything here. So his only attempt here is to play rook to h2 and the plan is simple he wants to of course bring his rook um, to this h8 square and then move it here 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 and just promote a queen but how do we prevent this as black well we have to move our king closer and you're going to see why so we just play king to d7 closer he plays um, rook to h8 which is his plan and we play king to c7 and this is an absolute draw. White cannot make progress. If he plays rook to b8 here, we of course don't take it because then we lose, but we just simply move our rook out of the way. Let's say on this c1 square, uh, which is not the only square, but okay, this move looks reasonable and now he can't do anything. I mean, if he checks us, we just go up and his king is absolutely stuck here. Uh, as you can see these two squares are defended and I mean whatever he does if he plays rook to b2 That's not a problem. We just play rook to c3. I mean, what is he going to do? He can't do anything So when white has his king uh, here on the 8th rank and his pawn on the 7th rank You basically want to cut him off so he can't move uh, anywhere to just make space here on a8 to promote to a queen. Okay, but it's not that simple. If the rook and the king were just one file to the right side of the board, then this is winning for white. And let's see that. Okay, we can see that we change this uh, one file to the right. And now, why is this winning? Because our king is not enough close to the opponent's king and the pawn to prevent this plan of him going there and as we can see now he can play rook to h2 and when we play king to e7 he plays rook to h8 and now you can go either to d6 or d7 both are losing but it's better to go to d6 so let's just see what happens if we go to this d7 square he just plays his rook there and we obviously have to move the rook right and now he escapes with his king to this b7 square like he wants and now it's basically over because what are you going to do he's going to promote on the next move so you have to keep checking him and i mean you check him on b1 he goes there you check him he goes there he still uh, protects the pawn and now when you check him he goes to c5 and now it's over you can't go back because he's simply going to promote and if you i mean still uh, check him, he's just going to come closer and unfortunately you run out of checks. So that's why it's better to go to this d6 square to prevent uh, white from going to this c5 square because from there you 
the defend the c5 square but it's still winning let's see how if you go to d6 he still plays rook to b8 and you still move the rook but now white has to find another way of ex escaping because if he goes there like he did before this is not going to work here because now he can't escape to this c5 square and if he goes there and you check him he can't move anywhere here because he's going to lose the pawn and that's bad news for white so he has to find another way of escaping and I mean there's only one way right he has to go to the 8th rank and how does white win this okay we check him again because of course we can't do this uh, we just lose the game after this we have to check him and he goes there to this d8 square and now black even tries to win by playing rook to h1 uh, threatening mate on the next move but white is of course not going to fall for this um, trap but he has this stunning move here rook to b6 check and what is the point when black moves to this um, c5 square we can check him on c6 and the point is of course he can't take the rook because of this and he just loses as you can see the rook which is very beautiful over the whole board so he can't take the rook he has to move his king somewhere else and I mean where is he going to go for example he goes to this b5 square and the point is that white can now play rook to c8 and now if black checks him because otherwise I mean white is just going to promote if black checks you, you just go to c7 and you hide there on b8 and you're going to promote on the next move of course and you're going to win the game. So going to this d6 square here with black is really um, better, more challenging uh, than going to this d7 square. But anyways the point here is that if the defender's king is not enough close to this pawn and the king then white can win by bringing the rook over there to this side of the board and helping the white's king escape from this a8 square so it can make space for the pawn to promote a queen okay so now let's take a look at one uh, example from the real game and based on what we looked at today how do you think white should draw the game uh, what should white do in this position please pause the video and let's see if you can find out okay so because white has his king pretty close um, here to this um, king side here where uh, black has his best pawn white should try to push the opponent's king to the h file and then just lock him there lock him on the h file because as we saw this is probably going to be a draw right but how can white do this with just checking the white's king this is of course not going to happen because he's just not going to go to the h file I mean he can play something like this or if you just keep checking he's not going to go anywhere right it's just not you're just not going to achieve this and also black is going to go there with his rook um, the best place for the rook and he's just going to push his pawn here and just win the game so this nonsense here checking with the rook doesn't work so the answer is you have to check him on g8 and now what is the point here Black probably moves to this f5 square because if he defends it like this, this is obviously a draw. You just run to this um, corner here. You came to these two squares which are drawn, um, but okay, this is not the topic of today's video. Um, I mean, he can't do this. He most probably moves to this f5 square and you check him again. But what is the point? This is not just nonsense checking, but you want to just put this king on the h file right like we like we said now when black moves to this g4 square you check him again and now he moves to this h3 square and you achieved your goal but okay wh why does he have to go to this h file i mean why can't he go for example to f3 what is the point well the point is that you're going to keep checking him and i mean non-stop and if he decides to go to the e file then this is over this is a draw of course you play rook to h8 and he's going to have to defend uh, his pawn here and you're just going to come closer with your king and this is basically going to be a draw uh, he's he's not going to be able to 
uh, just promote his pawn because your king is very close and this rook is behind the pawn it's the best placed here so this is really not going to be possible to um, win as black so that's why he must go to the h file and your goal is achieved white here would just attack a pawn and when he moves it he just simply goes back to this g8 square and as we know this is going to be a draw black is probably going to try to you know come as close as possible to this promotion square but like we saw we are just not going to let him go uh, out of this h file and if the black rook moves anywhere we're just going to step closer and we're keeping this king here that's the most important part in these end games okay guys so i hope that you learned something from this video and if you did please drop a like share this video and i would like to see some feedback in the comments so that's it for today and i'll see you in the next video